shooting motorcyclists and high fashion is one of the most exciting things I can dream of. It combines grunge and beauty. Concrete, steel, leather, denim, chrome, harsh light and shadow, all sorts of urban elements that are just really, really graphic. So I was really excited to take the new EOS R camera and the RF lens system into this environment and to give this camera a full test in a challenging situation. We have a brief hour window here where we do some really cool stuff. Sometimes you're looking at camera and other times you're just not looking off. Yeah, I'm gonna put you up a little higher even. Yeah, there you go, okay, yeah. It's gonna be great, let's just play with what we have. Up. One of the things right out of the gate that interests me most about this camera is the autofocus system. The new face detection and eye detection autofocus capabilities have really enhanced my ability to create more compelling frames. Not only does the camera focus and track with face tracking in one shot mode, but it also goes right in and pinpoints on your subject's eye. And when you're shooting at very wide open apertures, this is crucial. So I experimented shooting through handlebars of the motorcycle. I'm shooting on the back of a moving truck. I'm shooting through incredibly flared backlight at F2.0, wide open apertures. And the camera was consistently focusing right onto her eyes. I have had a chance to photograph galloping horses and cowboys, and the focus system can struggle in the fastest moving situations. But it's absolutely my new go-to for fashion, for portraiture, and for lifestyle. One of the workflows that I naturally came to that even surprised me on set was that I was taking my eye away from the viewfinder and looking at the adjustable LCD screen while directing the talent. And I actually came to really enjoy this process because my eye's not plugged to the back of the camera. I could put the camera right to the ground as I wanted, and I'm able to touch and drag and follow the subject as he or she moves in extreme corners of the frame. What's a new evolution for all of us as photographers is the ability with this R camera to focus through almost all of the frame. It's like, this is where you want your talent, right yeah. there. Yeah. It's just great. That light will be halfway between the motorcycle and that LED light. I think that works. All right, works. let's see what we got there. Oh, there we go. Yeah. That's killer. That's good. Now I feel Yeah, I feel now we're rolling. Good. Another new feature of the R camera is the low light autofocus capabilities. I wanted to put this to the real test. So we shot overlooking the city of Denver after sunset and we're shooting at ISO 3200 or ISO 6400, wide open, maybe a 25th of a second. And the face detection autofocus worked really well in these conditions. In all honesty, the most impressive aspect of this whole system are Canon's new RF lenses. The first thing I did was to take the new 28 to 70 millimeter lens and dial it wide open to f2.0 and shoot it straight into the sun. And not only did the lens focus crisply wide open, but even the sharpness jumped off the LCD screen. I have never seen optical quality like this in a zoom lens. When we brought it into our monitor, it just knocked my socks off. The 50 millimeter f1.2 and the 28 to 70 millimeter f2.0 set a new benchmark in my opinion dynamic stuff here, right? And feel free to move around a little bit. That looks nice too. There's the player I want. Great, and that's beautiful right there, yeah. In my mind, technology is at its best when it's allowing us as artists to be more creative. I'm looking for tools that enable me to work with subjects in a more creative way. You can hit her pretty well with that reflector from the side. I like that look. I think the R camera system gives us new creative choices that for me are really changing the way I work for the better.